Hello and welcome to the Kirkwood Christmas Service 2021. Light looked down and saw darkness. I will go there, said Light. Peace looked down and saw war. I will go there, said Peace. Love looked down and saw hatred. I will go there, said Love. And so he, the Lord of Light, the Prince of Peace, the King of Love, is coming. Come, Lord, come down, come in, as at the first Christmas, when the world was dark and the city was quiet. Come in, Lord. Come into the dark corners and the quiet places of our hearts to do something different. Not to distract, but to embrace your people. Here is a place for you, Lord Jesus. Just as our hands have made this place ready, so make our hearts ready. Be born again, not in a manger, but in us. Make us your Bethlehem, where God is personal and all things and all people are made new. But the Christmas story starts before Bethlehem. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a Galilean town, Nazareth by name, to a young woman who was engaged to a man called Joseph. The girl's name was Mary. The angel entered her room and said, Greetings to you, Mary, O favoured one. The Lord be with you. Mary was deeply perturbed at these words and wondered what such a greeting could possibly mean. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. God loves you dearly. You're going to be the mother of a son, and you will call him Jesus. And Mary spoke to the angel. How can this be, she said. I am not married. But the angel made this reply to her. The Holy Spirit will come upon you. The power of the Most High will overshadow you. Your child will therefore be called Holy, the Son of God. Your cousin Elizabeth has also conceived a son, old as she is. Indeed, this is the sixth month for her, a woman who was called barren. For no promise of God can fail to be fulfilled. I belong to the Lord, body and soul, replied Mary. Let it happen as you say. And at this the angel left her. Now at that time a proclamation was made by Caesar Augustus that all the inhabited world should be registered. This was the first census, undertaken while Cyrenius was governor of Syria, and everybody went to the town of their birth to be registered. Joseph went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to David's town, Bethlehem, in Judea, because he was a direct descendant of David. He went to be registered with his future wife, Mary, now in the later stages of her pregnancy. So it happened that it was while they were there in Bethlehem that she came to the end of her time. She gave birth to her first child, a son, and as there was no place for them inside the inn, she wrapped him up and laid him in a manger. And did it happen? And did it happen that in a stable long ago, a weary couple who no one wanted to know should choose a manger in spite of the danger to hold and hallow the Lord below? And did it happen that in the stillness of the night 
the woman laboured to let God see the light, and bathed and dressed him, breastfed and blessed him, the word incarnate whose time was right. And did it happen that news of this first reached the poor, compelled by angels to tiptoe to the door and see no trappings, just linen wrappings, a baby for certain, and God for sure. And did it happen that all of this was meant to be, that God from distance should choose to be set free and show uniqueness transformed in weakness, that I might touch him and he touch me. When the time was right, God sent the Son, sent him and suckled him, reared him and risked him, filled him with laughter and tears and compassion, filled him with anger and love and devotion. Unwelcomed child, refugee and runaway, Christ is God's own son. Feeder and teacher, healer and antagonist, Christ is God's own son. Lover of the unlovable, toucher of the untouchable, forgiver of the unforgivable, Christ is God's own son. Loved by women, feared by men, befriended by the weak, despised by the strong, deserted by his listeners, betrayed by his friends, bone of our bone, flesh of our flesh, writing heaven's pardon over earth's mistakes, Christ is God's own Son. The Word became flesh. He came among us. He was one of us. I don't know about you, but I always tend to imagine Jesus being born in the night time. Perhaps it's all those carols that make me think that way. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright. But not all nights are like that. The silence of the night can be long and lonely, with no one at your side to speak a friendly word or share a prayer of hope. The silence of the night for people on their own, with no hand to hold and no smiling face to behold, is such a lonely place. So in these strange, surreal and unreal times, we remember today's lonely people, hidden in the darkness, but needing the embrace of love to strengthen and heal. So may love break through the silence of the night. For every night is a holy night, as the spirit of peace moves among us, touching people's lives, speaking through the silence and healing many wounds. Every night is a holy night, for our every prayer, our every cry is heard, and our compassionate God shares the pain we feel. So in a moment or two of quiet, we bring to this silence our prayers for those we know who need a healing touch in the quietness of a holy night. And perhaps we're mindful of those folk who are currently on the Kirkwood inpatient unit and those folk who are being cared for in their homes by the Kirkwood nursing team. And that reminds us to be mindful of all the staff of the Kirkwood in every area of work, serving the needs of the many, silently, but wonderfully. 
as once you came in the hush of darkness. So still our hearts now by the wonder of this day. Make us wise with the wisdom of a little one, that truth might be born afresh in us. Let not our hearts be busy inns with no room, but doors opened wide to welcome the best present of all, the living presence of love. Amen. We're now going to say the Lord's Prayer. You may join in if you wish, out loud, or in your heart, or in your mind, or not, if you don't want to. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the love that breathes life into all humanity and all creation be born in us today. May the love that brings us healing be born in us today. May the love that overcomes hatred be born in us today. May the love that forgives and renews be born in us today. May the love that brings the blessing of peace be born in us today. May that peace now be the gift we share with each other. As we go out into this Christmas day, come with us, Lord. As we lie down to sleep on Christmas night, be with us, Lord. As we awake to the light of the new day, be with us, Lord. Stay with us, Lord, now and always. Amen.